Hi guys, welcome to this next trunk tutorial and this is the first video in um, my JavaScript for beginners uh, series. So here the first video is going to talk about the uh, console log and the reason why we are covering this as the first topic is because that's one, um, one command if you want that you're going to use a whole lot in your future JavaScript uh, programming. So here I have this uh, Visual Studio Code editor, which is my favorite, a text editor. If you don't have that, you can go on uh, code.visualstudio.com and download it right here and uh, install it. If you don't have that, you can also follow what I'm going to do on CodePen, codepen.io. You just need an account and then you can create public projects that you can share with people. You can also restrict their access, etc or you can use jsfidel.net right here or you can also download the uh, Atom text editor it's kind of like Visual Studio Code and it has an um, extension etc so for those of you who don't know a text editor is basically where you write your code so you will write it there you can link your files and um, whenever you create a file and you load it in your browser uh, you can view your changes so some of them come with uh, live server functionality like Visual Studio Code, which means as you edit your code, you can see live in your browser uh, whatever changes that you're you're doing. So that's what we're going to do. I have created um, a folder called JS for beginners here, and I'm going to create an index.html file and then a uh, script.js file. Okay, I misspelled that, so let me um, clarify this, index.html. So if you don't know HTML, don't worry, I'm going to have an HTML for beginners series, so just follow along, whatever I'm doing. But if you have installed um, Visual Studio Code, just uh, have this uh, exclamation points here, uh, and then you press the tab key on your keyboard. So let me... Uh, adjust the uh, window size here. This is going to give you a template that you can easily use to start your code. So here the main point is uh, JavaScript. So we'll be working more on this file. But just so you know, just follow along, okay? Because in the future we're gonna um, cover whatever we're doing here in more details. So for now just have scripts, src, and I'm pointing to that file here which means whatever I'll be writing here will be available here okay in the body of the HTML so whenever we load our page in the browser whatever script we have here will take effect when the body the content in the body section is being loaded so um, that's what we have here I'm going to close this and this because we don't need them anymore then I'm going to right click this and click on open with live server so this has opened our file you don't see anything it's blank because in the body section of this HTML file we don't have any text if I was to write um, let's see heading one hi there then we would see hi there as a heading one here which means our life changes are taking effect so uh, for now, we're going to switch over to script.js and what we're going to cover today is console.log. So console.log works like this. You just type console.log and there you have it, okay? So I'm going to write something in between the um, parentheses and I'm going to write JS for beginners. So now, um, you, you can still see that uh, the page is blank and that is because console.log um, writes to the console of your browser so if you want to access the console of your browser you just right click your page and you can go to inspect that is in Chrome so you can also use the control directly control shift I which is what I normally do and then now it's going to open this section here so this can look confusing at first uh, if you're trying this for the very first time 
but actually if you go to the console tab right here then that is where you see whatever uh, is being output to the console so let's change this and be sure that it works this is printed in the you can see it's been output here so what's the point of this basically that is because whenever you are writing codes usually you will have a lot of um, variables uh, functions and all these kind of things you don't always know what to expect maybe you're expecting a particular um, result, but you get something else so as one way of debugging your code you would pass a value to this method here the console.log command and check here what is the uh, result or value coming out from your code okay so if this sounds confusing to you let's get into a simple example so I'm going to have uh, two variables and again I'm going to explain in future episodes of this series um, how to declare a variable and uh, how they work etc but for now just follow along so I'm going to write let a equals 5 and let b equals 15 now console.log if I I pass in a here I write console.log and I type a inside this console here I should see 5 if I type console.log and I pass in b here I should see 15 so let's try this out console.log a and I see 5 here let's try with b and I see 15 now what uh, it gets interesting when you realize that you can actually perform operations inside your console.log okay so let me type a plus b and I should see 20 if I type a plus b minus a minus a again now I see 10 because I have 20 minus 5 minus 5 which is 10 okay so now I can also write um, I can also add strings and concatenate them with numbers so I would write the value of a is and then okay there are two ways of doing this uh, super easy ways so you can do it like this is you add a space you add the plus symbol to concatenate with uh, whatever follows it so the reason why I added space here you can see I have the value of a is 5 if I was to remove the space here then e and 5 would come out as one word because it will print this and immediately attach whatever is after the plus symbol so you add a space here if you don't want to add a space you can simply remove this and add a comma here and then it acts uh, as the same way so you can still perform operations here if I was to say the value of a plus b is and I get 20 here all right and if you check here inside your console you would see which line is outputting or printing um, whatever you're seeing here so scripts.js line 4 the number that comes after the column is the line inside your your file so here you can see on line 4 that's where we have console.log and then we pass in the string and the variables so that's what we see here if I click on 4 here this file will open inside the uh, developer tools dev tools as you can see here and show it to me exactly what I have here so let's go back to the console and to prove that this line number is not just uh, a random number I'm going to add spaces here now we're on line 8 and you can see that line 8 is being shown here so this really takes uh, it really reads your file and wherever you say hey I want this to be output in the console it will just do exactly as you tell it to okay let's say I had now a third variable let's see equals a times 2 plus B let's make it even more complicated 
Now, I don't know what value uh, should, should come up here. An easy way to check if you have something complicated would be to simply console log C and it gives you zero. Now let's check if that's correct. A is five, which means five times two would be 10, plus B will be 25. 25 plus A is five, minus 30 is um, negative 25. So 25 here plus negative, negative 25 is indeed zero. So if I was to say this and 10, then yeah, I would get 20. So that's one way of finding out quickly what um, values you are to expect from your variables. Okay, so um, this is a really quick example of how you can use uh, console.log. But for more complex examples, uh, we'll have to get to other tutorials where we actually write real code and debug our scripts. And then that's where you, you really see the power of uh, console.log.